Hey, it's Ted McGrath. So yesterday, somebody was saying, hey, you're a great storyteller. How are you a great storyteller like this in an interview I was doing? Number one, you need to watch stories. So um, I do storytelling in my business um, where I teach a program called Message to Millions and I teach people how to get their life story and message to millions of people. Um, and you know, we use storytelling in our advertising as well. Uh, where you know we spend about $180,000 a month and uh, for every dollar we put in an advertising we make anywhere from $4 to $5 cash back in the same week and a huge portion of it is actually storytelling so how do you become a great storyteller you got to realize that storytelling to engage and keep attention has ups and downs to it and what I mean by that is if you watch a great movie uh, there's always the element of surprise little clues that are left you know that create curiosity so you know, I was watching this great movie the other night called Deja Vu with Denzel Washington. And if you watch the beginning of it, they drop these little clues in the beginning of the movie just enough to like keep your interest for you to go, I kind of know what's going to happen here. Let me pay a little bit of attention. Um, and then they drop another clue and they're getting closer and getting closer. And you're getting closer and getting closer to finding out what the story is about. Observing um, how storytelling is done by watching movies is such a powerful way to learn how to storytell. I'm in production of a feature film right now uh, on my life story. Um, I created a stage play on my life story playing 15 characters from the stage and it's a 70 minute story that I tell on my life called Good Enough. You know when I was 21 years old I started out in the life insurance business and um, I didn't have a better plan and my boss looked at me and he's like, hey, you know, you can crack six figures your first year in this business and, you know, I was dumb enough and green enough that I put my head down and I ran like crazy to crack six figures and, you know, 12 months later, I cracked six figures. At four o'clock in the morning, one night, I'm uh, on the kitchen floor uh, overdosing, you know, from a bag of cocaine, two pops of ecstasy. 15 vodka sodas, my soul's coming out of the top of my head, and I'm holding on for dear life, and I wake up the next morning, and somehow I'm revived, and I think to myself, you know, eventually I'm like, well, money didn't do it, um, so if I, you know, make partner with this company, then, you know, status, you know, and power, that'll do it, so put my head down, five years, work like a dog. June 30th, 2005, standing on the top floor of the SunTrust building in New York Life um, in Orlando, Florida. And, you know, I just cracked uh, being the number five partner out of 500 partners with New York Life Insurance. And I have this question on my mind, um, is this really all there is to my life? And I resigned that day and I moved out to California and I started up a couple businesses and I wasn't passionate about them and they completely failed. And one day I'm sitting on my couch in my condo with my face in my hands, just got my third foreclosure notice in the mail. I'm like, what the hell am I gonna do with my life, man? And that was the day that I realized I had something inside of me. I had a message to share, I had a story to tell. I wanted to make a difference in people's lives. And so I became a speaker. And I took my knowledge and my life experience and I was like, I'm gonna start teaching people the things that I know and the skills that I've developed, you know, through sales and leadership and business. I was at this point in speaking where I was like, I wanna do more. I wanna do more, I wanna do something that expresses more of who I am. And one day I saw this guy doing a stage play. And I watched him do this one man stage play. He was a former football player. I've been to Broadway and I've seen Broadway plays. I'd never been so inspired watching the stage play. And I stood up at the end, I'm like, that's what I'm gonna do. And I wrote a story about my life uh, called Good Enough. The story that I'm telling you now to some degree. And it's a 70 minute play and then I started doing the play and then I just did a six week run here in Los Angeles and I just could become one of the finalists for the Ray F uh, Festival in New York and got invited to Edinburgh, Scotland for one of the biggest festivals in the world and now we're turning it into a feature film. And it's like storytelling has been the crux and the passion of my life because storytelling, it's, it's a personal thing that connects with people on a universal level. One of my friends, Bo Easton, said that a while ago, and it always stuck with me. He was uh, one of my first teachers of storytelling. So, you know, tell stories, you know, in the story I just told you, I give you a very condensed version. If you're telling a story online, you know, make it a, you know, you can make it a two, three minute story online. Um, if you're telling it in person from the stage, it could be a 15 minute story. But the elements of great storytelling are one, there's a pit moment, like my pit down and out overdosed on the floor. 
And then there's a breakthrough where the breakthrough is a moment of realization. Like I was like, what the hell am I doing with my life? Or am I gonna do with my life? So it's a moment of realization, the breakthrough, um, where then after your life starts to change. And if you hit those two points, it's the contrast of the low and the high. Those are two elements of storytelling. Not all the elements, but that's the first way to start structuring a good story. So I hope this helps you. I hope this serves you. See you soon.